I am here in Seekonk, Massachusetts at the at-home store. I have never once stepped foot into an at-home ever. I have no idea what they sell. I never knew what they were about. But a subscriber, his name is Shawnee G, recommended this place. They said they got aisles and aisles of Halloween decorations. So I had to come and check it out. Let's go see what Shawnee G was talking about. Walking in at home right now. This place is massive. I've never stepped foot in one ever. So this is all gonna be new to me. I have no idea what they have inside. This place is massive. What can they possibly have in here? It's like another Home Depot maybe? Massive inflatables. Holy crap. Well, honey? I'm not a huge fan of inflatables at all, but these are pretty big. That's gotta be like a 13 footer. $150 for an inflatable? It's 12 feet tall though. What's he doing? What's he doing? Peekaboo! 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 <laughs> oh, he sure did. He came right out. I was just told that there's stuff scattered throughout this entire store. There's no designated Halloween section. But this looks like it's all the inflatables. So, that's a 20 foot. That's what that is over there. You can see it leaning down. That's a 20 foot stack of pumpkins. That's pretty cool right there too. It's like a giant car filled with a bunch of Halloween people. Oh, here it is up higher. It's 10 and a half feet. That's pretty cool. LED, eight foot. Animated Reaper. But if you guys have watched my channel before, you know I hate inflatables for Halloween. Christmas is okay. You just got the fall themed. Nothing gory or coolish about this. It's just straight up fall theme for your front yard. There's stakes. I just seen this. This is absolutely awesome. The Kiss of Death booth. Is that on display anywhere? Let's go see. Yeah, yeah. Here's a ten and a half foot car with all the people Daddy, sticking out of it. Daddy, we can't find Bluey anyway. No Bluey? No Bluey. That's the price guide for all the stuff, I guess. No Bluey. There's animatronics on the other side. That one fell down. That thing's massive. Literally just found us randomly in the middle of four different aisles. Some nice LED lights for your front yard. That's a pretty decent sized sign. It's like three and a half feet long with a crow on the top. That's not on display. Six five inch LED spider. And what's this guy? Oh, I wish he was set up. To, oh, it's 12 foot animated scientist. Oh, wow. They got Halloween trees. Seven foot pre-lit black tree. Seven and a half foot pre-lit flock tree. If anyone's into 
getting a Halloween tree style Christmas theme going. Okay, so here's a big size out. I'm just gonna go pretty quick. I'm not gonna talk too much until I see something completely out of the ordinary. Here's a floor mat. Holy crap, those are huge. Look at my hand. It's the size of this guy. That's heavy. That's like really thick, thick plastic. Almost feels like ceramic. All it does, the eyes light up. I feel for $130, I should do a little bit more than that. Got some cool looking cauldrons. Those are not easy to find. A good, a very good stylish cauldron. Are these what kind of material? Metal. That's a good one. Not like the cheap plastic ones you see at other places. I prefer quality over quantity any day. What's this guy do? It says lights up, there's no try me button on it. Oh my god. Well, honey, I heard you call me from five aisles ago. Got the creepy cloth? Oh, there's those the plastic holdings I was just talking about. Dad! What is it, baby? It's a bug. A bug? I'm just looking at these pillows before I head over to the skeleton over there. There's some really cool pillows here for your couches and your beds. I really like this one right here. The Witch Brew, number 666. How much is that? I don't have prices on them. That big orange blanket looks really cozy. Oh my god. Gord. You see anything in your legs, sweetie? Hmm. See anything in there good so far? She's like me. She likes the gore and the scariness. Holy God. There's so many skeletons over here. I want this. Look at this skeleton. Oh, that's my son. Ten foot posable skeleton. That's actually posable. I want this one. I want this. I, 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 I. I'm not sure what I think of that. I want this. Art, art, art. This is so cheesy. No, it's Eighty dollars for a barking dog just to sit there and bark all day. Art. Wow, these guys, $130 for just a basic skeleton? That looks a little bit bigger than a normal skeleton that they sell. It looks like a six or seven foot one. This is an eater. Yep, seven this foot. There's an anteater. What is that one? I think this is an anteater. <laughs> I don't know. They have all different animals here. I even see teddy bears. Those are the regular skeletons down there.
One coming out of the groundbreaker one. Glowing of dark skeletons. There's more over here, Frankie. There's turtles. No. Twelve foot animated fire and ice reaper. Why can't these be on display? Are these candles? I like this. I'm pretty sure it's a candle. Yeah, those gotta be candles. Oh my god, look at this. This looks like a bleeding candle. I had this when I was little. Wow, I'm good. It really says bleeding candle. That doormat is humongous. That's like four feet. Oh, that's cool. That's A spider skeleton. No, that's A first of its kind. I don't like spiders. Not many people do, pal. Oh, wow. This is a bargain. 99 cents. 99 cents. Ah! That's so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's all the skeletons. Yeah, this goes in the dark. Oh, there's some cemetery gates. These are great to have for your front lawn. Wow. Comes with three of them for 25. They're about a foot and a half long each, so it's like four and a half feet maybe. Four feet, four and a half feet per 25 bucks. Just found their big animatronic and big props. Price list and guide. Because it's probably animatronic. But all of them move. I totally missed the coolest part of this whole thing. That gargoyle. That is awesome. I wish I could get over there. There's no way for me to go and touch it and see if it's ceramic or plastic. I think there's a button. But it's 130 bucks. That thing is cool looking. There's a button. I see something amazing right here. Wow, that is so cool. Isn't that from the Minions? I'm not sure. I, I just love it. I think that it's like a mad scientist. Minions. Yeah, that's that is from the Minions. Well, he's made out of a very heavy ceramic. That's a good quality piece right there. We got some no scary gnomes. That is awesome. Got the little ones and the normal size ones. Some foam cemetery. Tombstones. Nothing great to see here. Nothing great. Basic goofy ghosts. What's that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, I just seen that. Oh. Yeah, nothing too insane here just your basic family props what's this guy do you don't do it let's see what this guy turns on no one wants to work today there he goes oh my god somebody's having oh he's on a swing For only 40 bucks, this has to be the coolest prop I've seen here. For $40, that's awesome. You got a swinging prop. You got a Jack Skeleton pumpkin, some candy dishes. I actually think we have this, right, honey? We've had this for years since my daughter was first born about 12 years ago. We got Zero, Jack Skeleton. Jack Skeleton. Is that a full size Jack Skeleton? I want this in my room. Looks like his feet are here. Is it a full? Yeah, it is. 
I think it's everything. It's just yeah. his feet are hanging up so they can fit on the shelf. I want this. I want this in my room. You want that in your room? Yeah. <laughs> and the doggy zero. This looks like a, a fortress of That's fall. fall. But this side has a few decorations we can check out. Only the true old schoolers know what this is. Um, the Mario thing? No, it's not the Mario thing. It's called Witch Magic Steak, but that definitely is not that. It's from the movie The House of Horrors. Can I go see with 25 cents for pumpkin? Yeah, I want that. And then cool here. Let's just go down until we do. And the rest is just like I said, it looks like we're in a fortress of fall. It's so dumb. Hi. It's not dumb. Hello. Hello. Another full aisle of Halloween decor. And it looks like a mix of fall and Thanksgiving stuff too. That's got a turkey on it. So this place is humongous. It's my first time in this store and I'm checking all the Halloween stuff. Thanks to Shawnee G. One of my subscribers. Definitely a lot of stuff, but nothing to my liking so far. I like the gory, scary stuff. This is all family-oriented stuff. But to a lot of people, they enjoy this part of Halloween. My father-in-law included. He hates my apartment. He likes his all just the Halloween colors, the oranges and the browns and the reds. Some more blankets. Oh, Halloween lights. There's those cauldrons I was showing you in the first aisle that are good quality that you should grab. 40 bucks is not a bad deal for that. You can actually probably put liquid in those. They're on a steel stand. There's a whole mad scientist end cap over here. The Frankenstein plaques. That's cool. Oh, I see what this is. That's the scientist that created Frankenstein. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like this. What is that? It's a rat. It's a, a rat skeleton? Another aisle. A bunch of Halloween fall festivity stuff. A lot of stuff that's already seen. I wonder if they're just throwing everything up from the back into an aisle. I haven't seen this yet though. Looks like a a witch broom with a bunch of bad ideas on it. Looks like a wreath hanger. I see some stuff down here. These are all flowers. Nothing crazy to see here. Some candy corn path lights. Big skeleton heads. See what I mean? There's regular aisle stuff in here, like non-Halloween. Turn around, we got some more stuff here. Dad, Ceramic Dad. Halloween trees. Oh, that's cool. That's like a cool little porch decoration right there. Haunted pumpkin patch, throw some pumpkins with some hay in there. That's very nice. It's a good quality tombstone up there. $40 though. 
Are you gonna pay for quality? All the stuff we've seen. I haven't seen that guy up there. He turns on too. I don't think I can reach. He might be down here somewhere. These are like little table decorations for your kitchen table or little side table. I purchased that ghost right there from Walgreens last year. The day after Halloween, I got it for I think like four dollars. But mine didn't sit up like that. Mine was for the wall. This is it. This is like the last of the stuff that I've seen here. Some nice little glass sets. Is that like a chrome pumpkin candy holder? All right, so I'm leaving at home. It's my first time ever coming here. Didn't even know they had decorations. Never heard of of anything like it's it's kind of like Hobby Lobby this store if you ever been to Hobby Lobby I don't know if that's a local place around here but it's got a bunch of odds and ends for your house and that's basically what it is it's a family place where family decorations are Shawnee G thank you very much for asking me to come here I enjoyed it very much but it's nothing that I am gonna put into my house because I like the scary and gory stuff but for, for families that like their family decorations or fall themed stuff this is a place for you the prices are I think nothing too high or nothing too low it's just right in the middle but anyway guys thank you guys for watching this video and I'll check you guys out in the next one